hey guys welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new this video is a bit different because it's not me in the video this is my close friend and i am doing her birthday makeup for her in this video do not be confused this is not that type of birthday makeup this is a really nice natural but very full glam kind of makeup birthday makeup and I'm just really like experimenting with my videos and trying to see what works for me but right now I'm filling in her brows with the elf brow pomade in the shade I think ebony next i'm just cleaning up her brows and carving out the shape using the too faced concealer and butterscotch and guys please don't pay any notice to my overgrown nails at this moment i really didn't know like whether or not i wanted to get a new set or just grow them out and have my nails natural so i was just I just left them alone and I was cutting them as I was going because I didn't want to get any breakage but um, yeah I'm blending out her concealer around her brows now i'm using some concealer this is the too faced concealer in the shade mahogany and i'm just using this kind of like a color corrector it's got that warmth to it which is going to cancel out all the darkness around her eyes and around her mouth and it's just gonna set a nice base for the brighter concealer that we'll use later on and I'm just blending all of this out. And guys, I know she's like talking a lot we're like having a lot of discussion in this video and i had to mute everything because like you never know who's watching but yeah there was a lot of tea so that's why she's like talking a lot but anyway i am putting some contour slash bronzer on her this is the huda beauty tantor in the shade tan and i'm just sculpting her face with it and blending it out now i'm just going in with the foundation kind of like a reverse contour just cleaning up that contour and also obviously adding coverage and evening out her skin as well now i'm just going in with the Too faced concealer in the shade butterscotch and this is really just going to lighten up her under eye she told me she wanted that like insta baddie like uk insta baddie bright under eye so i had to give it to her And now you'll see me going in all over her face with dots of concealer where I want to add some brightness to. And guys, you only really need a dot. You don't need to paint it all on. Like, you're just going to add an unnecessary amount of blending for yourself. I even had to blend a lot with just these dots. So you really do not need that much concealer all over your face
in a minute you're gonna see me add two lines down the sides of her nose not the sides but next to the sides of her nose and I'm doing this because the way I've placed the concealer without these two lines of concealer makes her face look quite round and you want to even the face out so if you feel that you have a more roundish shaped face then these two lines can actually mean the world and it really just elongates the face to create more balance basically i'm just adding some blush with the beauty blender this is my favorite way to apply this blush this blush is by made by mitchell and i think i've mixed the two shades mango daiquiri and the red one whatever that shade name is it will be in the description it's really beautiful i love an orange blush on dark skin right now i'm going in with powder and i'm using the huda beauty powder in the shade kunafa guys i mean like this powder is just something else in this video i packed this powder on maybe like three times and it still didn't look cakey and i'm really against baking like i hate baking because i have very dry skin but this powder does something different it just no matter how much of it you pack on it just always looks natural it's just that finely milled like i've never used a powder this beautiful but yeah it's not fungal acne safe but if you don't care about that this powder is a must have and now i'm just going in with the morphe face powder this is like an all over face powder just to set the rest of her face and i'm using the revolution bronzer one of the revolution bronzers or whatever kind it is will be in the description box guys anything you need all the products will be in the description box but it is a revolution bronzer and as you just saw i tried to swipe away the powder and i really don't like that technique i prefer pressing it in with a beauty blender damp or dry preferably damp but seriously like pressing your powder in instead of blending it away makes your under eyes last and it makes it more resistant to creasing which is just who wouldn't want that I'm going in with the Fenty Mascara, their original mascara, the first mascara they launched. And this is obviously in the shade black. I'm just gently going in on her bottom lashes. And guys, we are using literally three setting sprays in this for this look like three 
first one we're going in with is one by she glam it's their picnic setting spray oh my god this spray smells so good and if you're going for like a natural look but you want it to last last all day that setting spray this one we're going in with is the one size one and that one is like it's like hairspray but for your face and oh my god it is literally like hairspray it smells like hairspray it feels like hairspray but your makeup will last like probably two days if you dare and then obviously she wanted to go in with her morphe one because that is her favorite setting spray and now we're just doing her eyeshadow it's a really simple eyeshadow look i'm using a combination of the huda beauty brown and toffee palettes and i'm just going in with a neutral brown shade in her crease and underneath her eyes just to add some definition to the crease and then this next shade is just it brings literally everything together it's like a nice warm gold shade and it complements her brown dress so perfectly and it's just guys look at that just look at that it's so beautiful so after this we're just going in with a really cute champagne shimmer in her inner corners and for the lip combo we didn't actually film that because it was literally a rush to get out of the door in time for the reservation but the lip liner we used the lip line i used was the nyx line loud lip liner in the shade rebel kind the fenty gloss balm in sweet mouth and the nyx butter gloss in the shade ginger snap and just look at this look even with the flash on it just looks so perfect so natural yet so glam at the same time it doesn't look crazy but you can tell this is giving glamorous and i really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video if you like this kind of video please give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video thanks so much for watching bye